Hey, I'm Andrew. And I'm Tover. And I'm Travis. And today we're going to talk a little bit about sound as it relates to instruments. So, here you can see I've drawn a guitar. And you notice the guitar has six strings. And as they go across the box, those strings will resonate as, you, as the guitarist is strumming. The sound will come into the box where the amplitude increases. So the wavelengths are um, they're higher. And as it goes through the box, they come back out through the hole. And as they come to our ears, we're able to, we will be able to hear a, a louder sound because of the higher amplitude of the waves. And we can find the frequency of the guitar string by this equation. You take one half the length of the string, and you times it by the square root of the tension, S stands for tension, you can't see that, and, you time, and tension is divided by the Greek mu, and that's the mass of the string over the length. So you can change the tension on a guitar in a few different ways. Number one, as you move your hand down the frets, you change the length. So length is here, as you do that, it's going to change the frequency, so you're going to be able to hear a higher or lower pitch, depending on where your hand is on the frets. The other way you can do it is they have the tuning pegs here, which as you tighten those, the tension in the string changes, and so that also changes the pitch. And you, you can see here we have fret bars on the guitar, and those have to do with the harmonics. So the first fret, you, you can hear um, 110 hertz, and then the second fret, it moves up to 220. The third fret, is 440, so they double every time. That's why the fret bars um, at the top are very far apart. And near the stem, the base of the guitar here, they're very close together. Okay, so for wind instruments, it's very close to the same thing. And this is a trumpet. And so how a trumpet works is the player, they buzz their lips, and that creates a vibration or a sound. And that sound enters into the trumpet. And then how a trumpet works is it has buttons. And what these buttons do is they reroute the air to travel at different lengths. So it takes that sound and it goes to the trumpet and it modifies it. Just like the other one where we had that equation with the length. It changes the length so it can produce different sounds. So it's very similar to a guitar. Okay, so there's two different wave types. Transverse waves, which can only move through solids. And longitudinal waves, which can travel through all states of matter. So sound travels in longitudinal because it can move through the air. And then frequency is measured in hertz, which is vibrations per second. And we can hear between 15 and 20,000 hertz, and a guitar operates at 83 to around 330 hertz. And then the higher the hertz or the frequency, the higher the pitch you get.